<sighs> you know, I wish these uh, Mar. I, I wish like the people on the Marvel side would just 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 say what you mean. Just say what you mean, okay? Don't worry, don't worry, guys. This is not a DCEU film. Just fucking say that. That's all you gotta say. What's happening, guys? Dave the Film Junkie here. Uh, you guys have probably heard this, but um, uh, it was uh, floating around. Jesus Christ. Calm yourself. Sorry. You know, some websites. I mean, mine does that too, actually. <laughs> My videos start automatically. <laughs> Anyways, um, <laughs> um, Thor Ragnarok. Okay, now, apparently, according to Tom Hiddleston, it's the funniest depiction of Thor to date. That's right. And so that started circulating around, and then, you know, a lot of people were like, why? Even I said that. I'm like, because, yeah, when I think Thor, I think fucking swinging hammer clown porn. That's exactly what I think. I'm just like, oh, yeah, totally. Ha ha, funny, funny. Look at his look at his beautiful blonde hair and his big, huge muscles. That's right. But then you go to the other side of it, and yes, he is pretty hum humorous. He has been in all the movies that he's been in. He's, I mean, Thor, The Dark World, had a... Had some pretty good jokes in it, but they actually worked. I thought most of them, at least, worked for certain things. Uh, I can understand that. But it's just like, to me, it's almost like they they, they don't want to be like the DCU so much that they always have to like say this. Oh, it's going to be fun. It's going to be funny, funny, funny. And it's just like, when is it going to be too much? You know, when is it? And there's already people that are starting to turn the other way. I've been noticing this in the past few months, especially with Logan coming out and it being like gritty and dark and people are responding really good with that. I'm starting to think that all of a sudden people are going to go back to Batman vs. Superman and like Man of Steel and be like, you know what? This is not that bad at all. Like the people that just totally was like, oh yeah, it's too serious. Fuck too serious. You know, it's like, I want, I want the Superman who killed Zod and had a smile on his face. That's the Superman I want. Yeah, he did. By the way, the Christopher Reeve Superman, Superman 2, remember, they lost the powers, and then he just knocked them, and he, he died, and he smiled about it. The new Superman, yeah, cried out, didn't want to do it, broke his neck, didn't want to do it. Anyways, that's besides the point, but it's just like, you know, when is it going to be too much, you know? Uh, and I don't want it to be, and, I, and it seems to me like... Like everybody wants to shit on D on the on Warner Brothers and everything just because like they can't seem to oh hold directors or this that and this. There's always so much focus on it. It's crazy, but uh, you know this is what they go through, and I think they're really striving to not be like Marvel. Which if you watch Batman vs Superman, it's not. That was like such a unique, such a unique superhero movie stuff that we haven't seen before and the dark gritty tone was just right out of the comic books the dc comic books are have a lighter tone but even the marvel ones have some dark tones too it's just it's almost like they're just too afraid to even go a little darker they they keep the dark stuff on netflix but when it comes to the movies they're like whoa buddy yeah this is gonna be funny don't worry it's gonna be funny you're gonna be laughing your ass off i'm like there's a there's a place for all that you know like like, with Warner Brothers, they have Lego Batman to be funny, super funny. I mean, that shit was hilarious. I got exhausted from laughing. And that's fine for that setting. But when it comes to the actual DC movies, hey, guess what? Let's let's get it a little more serious. Let's make a decent freaking movie. You know, you start shoehorning too many laughs in there, people are just going to not like it. And uh, hopefully that's not the case. I'm not shitting on this whole thing. I'm still really looking forward to Thor Ragnarok. I'm, I'm really, actually, really excited about it. See the whole Planet Hulk thing and what's going on with them. So I just wanted to talk about that part. And it's just, because it just seems like, eh, don't worry, we're not a DCU movie. <laughs> you know, it's like, relax. Nobody thinks you are. You're Marvel. You're good. You don't have to do, you don't have to say this shit. So it's funny. Anyways, let me know your thoughts about it down below in the balls area, guys. What do you think about this? He also retracted it. I forgot to say this. Director uh, Taka Watiti. He, but he, but he, he, he did it in a humorous way. And the guy is a funny guy. I mean, he's done nothing but like really like, like, like funny, like independent movies. So I don't know. Yeah. I don't know about all that, but anyways, but I mean, yeah, it's, it's nothing. He didn't really respond saying, no, no, no. He just kind of responded with, uh, some more funny ha ha stuff. So I guess we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens guys. But let me know your thoughts about it down below in the balls area. Hit that like thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to the other channel too, and follow me on the suck meds right up there guys. Ha ha. Funny, funny, golden shower hair. What? Anyways, hammer. 
That's what I meant to say, golden hammer. I don't know where I went with that, guys. I apologize. Anyways, I'll talk to you later.